So this is a passive house inspired building. It's uh, gonna be a, a single family home, uh, about 3000 square feet, 3800 square feet actually. Um, but we're trying to make it as airtight and insulated as possible from the outdoors. So Chris, what has been the process of this project? So this house, uh, we had to pretty much completely demolish down to very little bit left. It's a, a full gut renovation. So uh, we bucked out all the windows, as you'll see, uh, to make sure that the windows are in line with the exterior insulation. And then, you know, we, we tried to use the monopoly framing style where we connected the walls to the roof. Uh, so we, we put insulation on the exterior of the roof and then another layer of plywood just on top of that before the, the final layer of roof material. Okay, so it's a fully conditioned, unvented roof. Correct. Chris, can you tell us your thoughts on exterior insulation? Why did you choose to use it? Well, it, exterior insulation is just such a, a better choice because it limits all the thermal bridging that would typically happen in between each stud bay. Mm -hmm. So now you have a, pretty much a, a blanket or a sweater around the entire building and that actually lowers the dew point to within the uh, insulation layer. So there's no risk of condensation within the wall assembly. Just having that continuous insulation is superior level of insulation. So the roof assembly, we have three inches of the timber HP. So that's about R11. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna have eight and a half inches of fiberglass bat. So that'll give us another your R24 or something like that. So total we'll probably have close to R35. So why did you choose Timber HP for the roof? We at Axia Construction are trying to limit our carbon footprint as much as possible. Uh, we know Timber HP is you know, on the forefront of that as well. It's a new product that's just hitting the market and we're just really excited to be a part of that you know, early adopters program. Can you describe how you guys dealt with the overhangs on this project? Yeah, so we did the full monopoly framing where the walls connect to the roof. We wrapped it with our weather and rain barrier, the Proclima Hero 3000. And now we're going over that with a two by four framing to uh, allow us to install the timber HP in between at four feet on center. And then we'll put another layer of uh, three quarter inch plywood on top of that. So it'll be continuous insulation We'll have minor thermal bridging wherever the framing is, but in general, it's, it's much more thermally uh, encapsulated than a typical assembly. So one of the issues I know is dealing with how the exterior insulation meets the window. So how have you detailed it here? What stage are we at? So our, we had our carpenters frame out our windows with these uh, two by eight bucks to um, allow for us to keep the windows you know, in line with the, the siding as the detail shows, but also in line with the insulation. So the insulation will come right up to this buck and that's pretty much, that's what you want with the passive house and to optimize the thermal envelope, to have the windows, which are all triple paned, to be in line with the, the thermal envelope as much as possible. So we'll have our carpenter come back in and uh, properly flash and seal these window bucks and um, get our windows in when it's time. So here we can see that you ran your adhero right along the wall and then it turns over and wraps into the buck. And this is to prevent airflow or air infiltration into this window assembly. That's right, yeah. Once we uh, flash the window properly, it'll still continue into the uh, Intello air barrier on the inside. So it'll all be connected to the in interior air barrier as well. Chris, thank you so much for letting us have a tour of your site. Thank you for letting us see all the amazing work you guys are doing so far. We can't wait to see how it progresses. Can you give us any last words before we go? Yeah, thank you guys for showing up and taking a look. You know, we're we're looking for always looking for the next projects, next person people to work with who are interested in high performance buildings. So anyone wants to reach out and collaborate with us, we're based in New York City, working all in the tri-state area. And where can they find you? Uh, we're on Instagram, Exia underscore construction mm -hmm. or exiaconstruction.com.